Well, good morning everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here and welcome to the channel. I'm going to go out for a little cruise in the uh, Tacoma today. This is uh, day two of my little test period, I guess. Um, and wanted to kind of go over uh, a few of the differences I've noticed between this and the Tundra. Um, because I'm trying to decide whether or not I'm going to I'm gonna trade or stay with where I am. We'll see. So anyway, the first thing, obviously, is the size, the size of the two vehicles. I mean, the Tundra is massively huge, uh, which isn't a bad thing. It's kind of cool driving around a big truck. I kind of like that. It's higher up in the air, has a bigger footprint. But the only problem for me is it doesn't fit well uh, in my new place. Um, I have a couple of lifts in the garage, and if you looked at some of the older videos, um, the Tundra doesn't fit real well in there. It fits, but it is very, very tight. And I think uh, living with that every day, you know, uh, would get to be uh, rather monotonous. Not to mention the chances of damaging the truck by taking it in and out of such a tight area um, every day is, is pretty high. And uh, that's a definite... Uh, negative for me. Um, the Tundra fit, or the Tacoma rather, fits well. Uh, it's obviously narrower and shorter, so not, a, not as big of a problem there. Uh, the next thing for me, I want to do some mods on the truck, obviously, on whatever truck I have, and I want a lift, and I want different and bigger wheels and tires. Now, if I do that on the Tundra, it isn't going to fit in the garage. There's just no way. I'd have to park outside, and I'm a big stickler for that. If you have a garage, you should park inside. Um, I just like to be able to protect the vehicle, keep it out of the elements, keep it away from people, uh, which shouldn't really be a problem where I'm at now, but you never know. So you got to park inside, so that's another negative. Uh, I can't do what I want to do and still do what I want to do, if that makes any sense. Um, from a ride standpoint, I would say the Tundra is a bit more comfortable. Uh, it's heavier, so obviously it doesn't uh, it doesn't ride as harsh, I guess. Not that the Tacoma rides harshly, but it rides more smoothly than the Tacoma does. And that's because it has more weight. It takes the bumps uh, a little bit more smoothly. The little crevices and stuff, you know, that you drive over all the time just feels, feels more smooth, I guess. The room on the inside... I mean, obviously, the Tundra is bigger. This isn't horrible. The back seat, which I've talked about in other videos, is pretty small. I don't know that you'd want to take a cross-country trip in the Tacoma with people in the back, but we don't have any people to take cross-country in the back. It's just the two of us now, so the, the front of the Tacoma is plenty roomy enough for the both of us. Uh, so that's not really an issue. The bed, of course, on the Tacoma is smaller than uh, than the Tacoma, or the Tundra rather, but I don't do tons of hauling anyway. Having a bed is more of a convenience for me in case I go somewhere and want to pick something up or whatever, not that big of a deal. I certainly don't haul anything that I have to have the Tundra's, you know, heavier weight capacity for. I don't tow anything, so that's not really a big deal for me either. Um, the aesthetics of the truck. I like the Tundra, don't get me wrong, but I, I've always said that I believe the best looking truck on the road is the Tacoma. I love the look of, of the Tacoma, and I particularly like the look of a Tacoma with different wheels, tires, and a lift. They had one at the dealership uh, where I've gotten this one at uh, that's just awesome. And my plan is to go ahead and, and in essence, turn this one into the same kind of truck. Uh, more on that a little bit later, if indeed we do decide to to stick with the Tacoma. Um, a couple of things that uh, are big differences, in, in my opinion, for me, between the Tundra and the Tacoma. Number one, it doesn't have auto headlights. Now, I could have stepped up to the limited trim, um, but I don't really want to spend that much money. I really want to, if I do this, trade the, the Tundra in swap keys and walk out with a check. That's kind of what I'm looking to do. So we'll see what happens there. But um, auto headlights, I do like those. Um, I would miss those, I suppose, but it's not really that big a deal to flip a little switch when you need to have your lights on. Eh. Uh, 
the rear sliding window. You know, one of the things that I've talked about a lot on the channel is how cool that rear fully sliding or, or retractable rear window is in the back of the Tundra. That to me is just awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. I think once you put that down, open all the windows, open the sunroof, it's kind of like you have a, a target top convertible or something, you know? That's so bad. But I will tell you, in the time that I've had the Tundra, and especially where I'm at now here in Texas, where it is hot and humid, I don't drive around with the windows down. I, ser I rarely use uh, or used a sunroof uh, in any of the vehicles I've ever had. Kind of neat to have. The only thing that, that I really wanted it for uh, in the Tundra was being able to fasten the camera to it and get a different camera angle. Not a great reason to have a sunroof, right? Because I rarely, matter of fact, I'll bet you I only opened that sunroof maybe twice, maybe the entire time that I've had the Tundra so far. Uh, the rear slider, same thing. It's cool. It's cool to know it's there. I think I've used it one time. Uh, again, probably because of the heat, especially now. You know, when we left Ohio, it was starting to get really hot and humid. And of course, here in Texas, it is hot and humid. So I can't see that I would ever use it much. Some people would say that, well, that enables you to put the window down and haul longer things in the truck. Longer boards you know, maybe a sheet of plywood or something, whatever, but I don't haul that kind of stuff. So that's not really an issue, you know, for me. A little sip of sweet tea here. Ah, you gotta have that, you gotta have that. A um, couple other things, power. Obviously the Tundra had a big honking 5.7 V8 in it. Uh, the Tacoma has a, uh, I forget the, the the liters, but it's a it's a six cylinder motor, but it's a much lighter truck. So the trade off is it as powerful as the Tundra? Well, of course not. Is it as quick as the Tundra? Eh, I don't know. I really haven't uh, been in a situation yet where uh, I would need to uh, stomp on the gas and go to be able to honestly, you know, give my opinion on whether it is. It feels. Uh, pretty much the same to me uh, as far as taking off the line, uh, merging onto to freeway traffic, stuff like that. But I'm sure in a uh, in a situation where you really wanted to get on it, the Tundra would be faster, quicker, I'm sure. Certainly more hauling and towing capacity, which, as I've said, I don't really need. Uh, the other thing, uh, the elephant in the room always, is fuel economy. Now, the Tundra, I was getting about, oh, well, I think, let's go ahead and pull out the sticker here so I can give you an accurate number. They put that in the glove box. I didn't want to drive around with that on the window for days, you know. Um, the, the Tacoma, let's see, is rated at uh, 21 combined, which is 19 city, 24 on the freeway. Uh, that's not too bad. The, uh, excuse me, I'm trying to put this thing back. The Tundra that I have is getting right about eh, 15, 16 miles to the gallon uh, combined. So obviously there would be a, uh, an increase in fuel economy. Again, a truck's a truck. I know every time anybody mentions fuel economy, uh, it's time to put on the flame suit because people, of course, tell you that it is a truck. So that's not a huge deal, but... It is, uh, it is something else to consider. Obviously, going to the Tacoma would give me better mileage. I don't know. So, I still uh, continue to evaluate. It won't be much longer. Uh, and I'm going to have to make a decision soon. I can't keep this truck forever. <laughs> Unless I buy it. Um, I guess the other benefit, there is one more. And that is that uh, in trading the Tundra, uh, I am positive. I do own the Tundra. So, I would walk out of there with a new truck. And, uh, and a check. It's just a matter of how much. That money, of course, could then go to mods on the Tacoma, uh, probably pay for most of the lift in the tires, uh, I would think, and the wheels. So 
that is definitely another positive. Anyway, that's where I'm at right now. A little comparison from my perspective between my Tundra and this, uh, this Tacoma that I'm testing out right now. Uh, it won't be much longer. I will make a video, announce my decision uh, as to what I'm going to do soon, uh, and let you guys know. As usual, appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you think. Uh, please give this video a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button if you haven't before. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a good day. Bye.